It was one of the first bars to reopen following the February earthquakes and now Pegasus Arms is celebrating its a quarter of a century birthday. But what does the future hold for the historic site considering it's housed right in the middle of the health precinct? Here's Jared McCulloch. Nestled in the central city stands a piece of Christchurch history and it was another milestone for this restaurant and bar celebrating 25 years in operation. Here because of the direct result of the earthquakes we had some other bars in town before then which were all red zone so we needed a home to come to and fortunately this was on the market so we took the opportunity to buy it at the time. Bill and Alex have been business partners for nearly 15 years, five of those years taking care of this historic site. When the February 2011 quake hit, the three other bars around the city were no more, located in the CBD's red zone. And with 40 staff jobless after the earthquake, they needed a new home and fast, reopening this bar two months later in a place that could be accessed. Yeah, it's been absolutely great. I mean, we're so fortunate to actually be here. And, um, you know, it's, it's an institution really in Christchurch. It was one of the first bars to open its doors back up directly after the quake. And they were lucky too, they virtually had no damage, just a few cracks and gaps in the tiles and a chimney that collapsed. The facility is registered as a Category 2 building under the New Zealand Historic Places Trust because of its cultural significance. It first opened as Pegasus Press before being transformed into a tavern in the 90s. Now nearly five years on after the quake it caters for the locals similar to the ones in New Zealand's own television soap opera. They call us the um, hospital bar actually, whatever yeah. the one in Shortland Street's called. The Ivy Bar I think it was. The Ivy Bar, <laughs> yeah, because you know we, we see them all here and um, the doctors come over after work and the nurses pop over for their lunch and it's it's just, a, it's really nice, it's a good community and, and they often have gatherings here so yeah, so it's awesome to be able to sort of be open and service that need really. And that's their focus for the future, with plans to turn this upstairs facility room into a breakfast cafe, targeting business and hospital workers just a few hundred metres up the road. A building restoration is going on next door, meaning potentially more customers in the near future. But although there isn't too much else around them, business has eased. But they're happy with where it's going. It's massive at the start, you know. Um, we probably lost a little bit with um, other bars coming on stream and also you know we've had to sort of curtail our opening hours a bit because of um, because of neighbors um, you know noise complaints so we you know we pulled back on that on the weekends which is which is okay and they say they're not affected by the controversial local alcohol policy but they do have another problem on their hands. Where I'm standing now is Pegasus Arms Courtyard. It goes all the way to the end here by the bar. But if I take a step back, I'm now in the health precinct, which means this courtyard may have to go. The plan is for the health precinct to spread down Oxford Terrace, the same stretch of road Pegasus Arms is housed on. Currently, they have a lease for the courtyard site being renewed every month. But they say their little historic hospitality hub is safe from any demolition and they have a few plans up their sleeve once the current courtyard is closed up. So because of the uncertainty of blueprints and whether or not um, um, buildings are going to be allowed to stay, we've really, really given some serious thought to it. And along with our advisors, you know, we've put um, um, plans together um, to the CCDU and, um, you know, the implications are looking really good for us being able to stay here. When the courtyard goes, they hope to build a new outdoor space in front of the site or maybe to the other side. Time will tell what will be next, but as for now... No, well, just, you know, we'll see you here for a pint later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.